in this video we are going to now see how to calculate GCD of two numbers not only that we will also see what is meant by Euclidean algorithm so let me write the question find the GCD of fifty eight and twenty one so we will solve this part now now first of all I will divide fifty eight by twenty one so I can say that from this step I understand that fifty eight is equal to 21 into 2 plus the remainder which is 16 so this we have written in the form of what dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder we will always write it in this form now I will take the divisor and I will take the remainder and I will again divide them so divisor is divided by remainder so I will get from this step I will get dividend 21 is equal to the divisor is 16 into quotient is 1 plus remainder is 5 in the next step I will again divide 16 by 5 so I will get the remainder is 1 so this means that 16 is equal to dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder is 1 in the next step I will divide 5 by 1 so that I will get the remainder is 0 so I will get dividend 5 is equal to divisor 1 into quotient plus remainder is 0 so this means that when I reach a step where the remainder becomes 0 we have to stop our calculations so here if the remainder is 0 it means we have to stop the number which is exactly above the zero is the GCD of the two numbers so the number exactly about zero is the GCD so this means that the GCD of two numbers 58 and 21 is 1 means they are relatively prime if the GCD is 1 then the numbers are said to be relatively prime now we will go for the next section of this problem now we will write down that GCD which is D suppose as M times A plus n times b we will write gcd in this format in this problem our gcd is 1 m times a is 58 plus n times 21 so we want to find we want to find m and n such that 58m 
plus 21n will become 1. It is clear that m and n have must have opposite signs must have opposite signs now why is this so that they must have opposite signs because if both of them are positive this positive number plus this positive number giving you one will not be possible if both of them are negative then this will also become negative number this will also become negative number and their addition cannot be equal to 1. This means that one of the m has to be positive and other has to be negative. If m is positive then n has to be negative or if m is negative then n has to be positive. Here I will tell you that the actual answer is 58 into 4 plus 21 into minus 11 will give you 1 so the value of m is 4 and the value of n is equal to minus 7, 11 minus 11 so the question is how did i find out these two numbers 4 and minus 11 58 into 4 plus 21 into minus 11 if you calculate you will get that the answer is exactly equal to 1 now in now, now we will learn a method to find this values m and n so for that let me go to the original division sum the gcd sum that we have done in the first part now look at the previous step these steps i will name as 1 2 3 where in the third step I have obtained the GCD so from the third step you can if you keep the GCD alone if you keep one on one side we will get that 1 is equal to 16 minus 5 into 3 similarly the second equation give, will give us 5 if I keep alone I will get 21 minus 16 into 1 from the first equation I will get 16 is equal to 58 minus 21 into 2 right now I will move towards the third step so the third step tells us that 1 can be written as 16 minus 5 into 3 why 1 because this 1 is nothing but our GCD so I will write this from equation 3 from 3 we will get 1 is equal to 16 minus 5 into 3 now if you write this 16 as 16 into 1 minus 5 into 3 this is writing it in the format of important number into something minus important number into something so now this means that 16 and 5 were important numbers in this particular step 16 and 5 were important number in this particular step now let me go to the second step when I look at the second step I can see that 5 can be replaced by 21 minus 16 into 1 so I will do this replacement in the next step 5 will be replaced by 21 minus 16 into 1 so this is 16 into 1 minus 5 is replaced by 21 minus 16 into 1 multiply by 3 again I will write it as 16 into 1 minus 21 into 3 plus 16 into 3 this and this when combined I will get 16 into 4 minus 21 into 
3. So again I have got important number into something minus important number into something. So now it is a time to move to the next step. Now the previous step, the equation number 1 tells us that 16 can be replaced by 58 minus 21 into 2. So this 16 can be replaced by 58 minus 21 into 2 multiplied by 4 minus 21 into 3. I will simplify this. So that it becomes 58 into 4, 58 into 4 minus 21 into 8, minus 28 into 3. Remember that this is 1 everywhere. 1 is equal to. So this means 1 is equal to 58 into 4 minus 21 is 8 times and 21 is 3 times. So this means 21 is 11 times. So this means 1 is equal to 58 into 4 minus 21 into 11 which you can write it as 58 into 4 plus 21 into minus 11 so I'm going to compare it with 58 M plus 21 N so this means that the value of M is 4 and the value of N is minus 11 this is what we were expecting to be our answer so this is this method of reversing and finding the values of m and m is called euclidean algorithm euclidean algorithm to find m n n and not only f these are not just any m and n so it is this is called as linear combination of a and B this is linear combination of numbers 58 and 20 and which gives GCD GCD is how much GCD is 1 this finishes our problem